Hey book fighters, it's Friday and this week I read Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters. I love Jane Austen. I really, really love Jane Austen. She is absolutely amazing, even though I know most of you don't like her. Ben H. Winters, the co-author of this book, I don't like him as much. You see, last year I read Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and you can see the copy is kind of all battered and stuff. And I thought this book was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Seth Graham Smith just, he accentuated the book with the zombies and it didn't feel like he changed it. It felt like the zombies were always in the book, which was really, really cool. And it made me love the original more, which is something that adaptation should do. It should make you love the original more and you shouldn't... It makes you appreciate the original more. Seth Graham Smith essentially added zombies to Pride and Prejudice, which is the problem with this book, because Ben H. Winters added Sense and Sensibility to his Sea Monster novel. It was really, 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 really changed, and it, it didn't feel like Jane Austen, and the characters were kind of set aside so that he could focus on the sea monster plot and it wasn't it wasn't Pride and Prejudice and Zombies anyway I have some fault <laughs> just a little bit of fault with Jane Austen in this book as well because the main character who is essentially my age I think she's well she is my age and she marries a, a 35 year old no no he was 35 when they met so he was like 36 or 37 when they got married Jane Austen, why? And it's like, it's not even like you get a romance with it either. I mean, it'd be less extremely creepy if there's like a romance involved, but it's just the guy stalking the girl the whole time. The whole time the girl's like, ill, he's old, I don't like him. And it isn't until like the last two pages she's like, maybe he's okay and I'll marry him. But he just like stalks her the whole time and He's like always not with her and she's like, you're old, I don't like you, go away. Oh, it's so creepy. Why, Jane Austen? Why must you have done that? Also in uh, this version, the Sea Monsters one, he has tentacles on his face. And I'm sorry if I am so vain that I, I can't like a main character who has octopus tentacles on his face. So next week, I will be reading... The Forest of Hands and Teeth, which is a zombie novel. I'm happy. And now, I have a challenge for you guys. Okay, well, I probably should have talked about this when I was talking about Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters, but I kind of forgot. So, I found out about this book by seeing its book trailer on YouTube when I was looking up the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies movie, whatever. I was looking up things that had to do with like the quirk classics and I saw the book trailer for it and it was really cool and I'll put a link down in the whatever you want to call it I don't know I, don't, I haven't called it anything yet huh. I don't know where I'm, gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna put it okay well link goes down there and it was really cool. I liked it. It made me interested in the book. And I think book trailers are becoming like a bigger thing now because you see them for a lot of books. A few months ago, I was like on YouTube and they, like, you know how they have those ads for the movies and things? There was an ad for a book trailer. It was called like Monster High. And as the book trailer, they had like a series of like little short cartoons about the book and the characters in the book. But then they had like this music video and a song that they created for the book, just for the book trailer to advertise it. And I thought that was like really, really cool. I mean, historically, to discover a book you want to read, you would have to go to the bookstore or the library, and then you go to the section that you kind of like, and then you look at the cover, and you're like, okay, I like this cover. And then you read the back, and then you read maybe like the first few pages. And it's, it's kind of a difficult process to find a book you want to read and even so sometimes you get home and you're like oh oh god I hate this book but with book 
two dollars it's kind of cool because you can see like what a book's kind of not only like what it's about but it, its tone and like the feeling you'll probably get from the book which is it's, a, it's really cool and I'm really happy that there are these advancements in book advertising now so my challenge for you guys is is to create a book trailer it doesn't have to be like amazing like a music video with a new song and everything for your book but it has to be something make people want to read the book that you've just read two punishments I have a bag of marshmallows here when I was buying them from the store it was really weird I was buying sushi too because I went at dinner and I had like a pack of marshmallows and some sushi and the person at the counter was like sushis and marshmallows and I was like it's for a day and I don't know they probably think I'm really weird now like I was eating sushi and marshmallows together because I liked it but I, I don't like eating sushis and marshmallows together I don't even really like sushi or marshmallows anymore it was so weird you guys I just I just stopped liking sushi like a week ago I just, I just was eating it and I just didn't like it anymore I didn't understand it. I loved sushi, but now I don't love it. Anyway, off topic. Also, I didn't realize how big marshmallows were. I guess I'll get it over with faster. It's so big. Okay. Claw is small. Hey guys, so three marshmallows. <laughs> that was so bad. I was going to do the do the Raven challenge, but my phone is in standby mode and I don't know how to get it out of standby mode. <sighs> okay. I give up. I'll try again next week, maybe. I'm gonna do this. Maybe. So bye you guys.